Yeah, this morning, Al is taking us behind the scenes with the guys from BuzzFeed's wildly popular Worth It series. Those guys are funny. I love these guys. I got to tell you, when you think of food explorers, chefs like Anthony Bourdain come to mind. But now, three digital food stars are emerging as a force to be reckoned with. Now, if you're over the age of 25, chances are you've never even heard of them. In a quest for the best priced delicious dishes, Do you want some food? three YouTube sensations have taken the culinary world by storm. Isn't it like what McDonald's burgers look like in the commercial, but never in real life? Meet host Andrew, Stephen, and camera guy Adam of BuzzFeed's Worth. Ready to go. You have to try this right now, Adam. It's like one of the most complex things I've eaten. The team came together while working on BuzzFeed's other popular food videos with one simple goal. We try one food at three price points, so low, medium, high, to find out which one is the most worth it at its price. Next time you see us, we will be in Australia. That search has taken them around the globe, and fans have followed with more than 400 million views on YouTube. Are you surprised at the success of this thing? What really surprised us was how many people were going to these restaurants we were covering. It's interesting you chose sushi because five words that I never want to really say is all you can eat sushi. That's kind of what was the beauty of it is that we're finding these gems of places that have really good cheap sushi or really good cheap fried chicken. It's so good. Huh? Chef Marcus Samuelson met the Worth It guys when they tried fried chicken from his Red Rooster restaurant in Harlem. They are authentic. They are fun. There's an energy around them that so speaks to the young foodie culture today. If it is delicious, they're going to respond. If it's not, they don't care. Ed, you're here to give us the secret. We brought the team back to Red Rooster to make the same dish. Then I'll put it in our house flour blender. Look at that color. I want to make sure that the chicken is still crunchy. All right, let's, let's go in. Then tasted it to see how these experts analyze food. I want a fried chicken that I can sink into, get the crunch, but then just like fall in love with it. You're also looking for a little bit of personality and individual character, and this, this fried chicken definitely has that. This week, the boys are back, returning for their fourth season. Is there a favorite episode you guys have done? Do you have a favorite kid? You're comparing my child to your <laughs> chef. <laughs> oh, man. I would say our ramen episode was my favorite, and we got to go to Japan and show people the origin of that story. We covered pasta. It's not an expensive food. It doesn't have to be relegated to fine dining. We did an episode on eggs. I have one word to describe an omelet. Pillow hyphen heaven. Did you follow that with chicken? Chicken came <laughs> after. Wow, I hate how good this is. Where do you guys go next from here? We really love making the show. You would think that you run out of food, but there's so many foods and so many different stories to tell. We're just excited to continue to do it. Starving. I know. Starving. <laughs> you watch this stuff. And, and what's great is they really do make it accessible. And, yeah. and the, the price point really, most of the stuff they say, whatever they're eating, it's worth it. Okay. By the way, you can catch a season of Worth It produced by our partners at BuzzFeed. It starts this Sunday on YouTube. Cool. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.